Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. an amazing day. I'm having an amazing day. I just want to say that I'm, I thank God for you. I appreciate you being in my life. Thank you for being a part of the show. I feel like that we are family. So I just wanted to uh, say that. I know I say that all the time, but uh, sometimes people need to know that they're appreciated. You're not just a number here. You're not just a fan. I really appreciate you being a part um, of the show. You know, something I've been thinking about here lately, and that is self-care. Are you really taking care of yourself? And when I thought about self-care, what came to my mind was the value of self-care. A lot of people don't think about this, but self-care is valuable. Self-care is important to our lives, and self-care is essential. It's something that we all should be involved in or participating in. My favorite scripture uh, is Matthew chapter 22, verse 20, verse 37 through 39. I'm from the New Living Translation. Verse 37 says, Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Verse 38 says, this is the first and greatest commandment. Verse 39 says, and second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now I want you to really focus on those last two words, as yourself, as I elaborate and talk about this show today. Keep that in mind, as yourself. Self-care is something that, I'm not saying people are not talking about it, but it's something that I rarely ever hear about. And, and many may be asking today, what is so valuable about self-care? Self-care is not only valuable, but as I've forementioned, it's also essential. And ultimately, self-care uh, focuses on what are you doing for you? What are you doing for yourself? If you were to take a pause in your life right now and reevaluate your life, ask yourself that question. Not what you're doing for everybody else. I love everybody else. I value everybody else. I accept everybody else. But what are you doing for you? And we realize that self-care is important. Not only is self Care is important. Self-love is important. Love your neighbor, what? As yourself. Not only does self-care focus its own, what are you doing for you, but self-care also focuses on taking care of you. And in what ways are you taking care of yourself today? We've heard those scriptures for years. I know I have, and oftentimes they are taught within the context of helping other people, looking out for other people, validating other people, liking other people, taking care of your fellow man. But rarely ever is the emphasis on helping yourself, loving yourself, validating yourself, accepting who you are, loving you. There's nothing wrong with taking care of other people, so please don't misunderstand me today. There's nothing wrong with looking out for other people. There's nothing wrong with taking care of other people. But we should give ourselves that same grace, the same treatment, 
that we extend to humanity. Did you not know that you deserve that too? And it's great that you, that you have a heart to want to win the world and help the world and, and change the world, but can you give yourself that same validation? Yes, we love our neighbor, neighbor, but I love myself too. And as a result of loving yourself, it will then give you the courage and the strength and the capacity to love and extend a hand to someone else. Oftentimes people think that self-love is limited to how we treat our bodies, speaking of uh, that which is physical, but also how we treat ourselves mentally is just as important. Self-care can be connected to uh, not only just the physical, as I just mentioned, but socially, um, spiritually, uh, emotionally, psychologically, and so much more. What I have observed, and this is not about anyone else, this is about me, what I have observed in my own life is that I spend a lot of time, and I think what I'm about to say, many of you probably can resonate with it, I spent a lot of time investing and pouring into others with the motive of helping. But one day I had to ask myself, Henry, are you investing into you? Are you what are you pouring into yourself, Henry? And maybe somebody out there today is virtually asking yourself that same question. You pour into others and you, you, you do, do, do for everybody else, but you don't do nothing for you. I was just thinking about a recent event I just went through where in my last car, I mean, it was nothing wrong with it. I enjoyed it. I had it since 2016. So I've had it for, for several years now, maybe six or seven years. And some told me, and I didn't want to really get another one, but some told me, Henry, why don't you upgrade? You know, I didn't want to do that for myself. You know why? Because I was too busy looking out for other people. Everybody else is driving something nice, living in not. I said, I need to do something for me. And you know what? That's what I did. I went and got a new car. And it made me feel good about myself. It made me feel uh, like I was important. And I know, I mean, I'm not saying I'm important based off of materialism, but it's nice to be able to do something for you for a change. Maybe you're watching today and you're doing things for other people. I want to encourage you today to do something for you. You can spend so much time helping others while you're drowning. That's not self-care, my friend. That's self-destruction. Self-care is important in maintaining a healthy relationship, not with other people, but with you, yourself. You should be fully engaged in taking care of you first. Love your neighbor what? As yourself. Self-care also uh, may involve having an accountability partner. You know, maybe someone uh, that can keep you, your head on straight or help you to stay balanced or keep you on track. I have an accountability partner in my life. Someone that I can go to and say, hey, um, I'm going through this or I'm going through that. And this individual is, is honest with me. It's straightforward with me. You need an accountability partner in your life that will help you to take care of yourself. I'm not saying it's like a necessity, like you really need one. Some people can do it without an accountability. But, but, but sometimes you need somebody just to give you a little push. Not in a negative aspect, but a positive way. Somebody to give you a push and encourage you. You know what? You can do it. You can make it. And, you're, and not, it's not as much as them holding you accountable, but you're holding each other accountable. We need to take care of ourselves. And in doing so, we need to encourage each other to stay balanced, to stay on track, to stay fit, to stick with it. It's like having a, um, a workout partner. You know, maybe one morning you don't want to get up at four in the morning to go to work. Oh, nope, come on, get up. We've been doing this for six weeks. You're not going to back out now. That's what I'm talking about. Have somebody in your life that's going to push you and motivate you to be the best that you can be. 
I want to also clear up the misconception that self-care is somehow connected to selfishness. You know, a lot of people say that, and I just want to let you know, there's nothing selfish about taking care of you. Nothing selfish about taking care of you. Nothing selfish about loving who you are. Nothing selfish about liking you. Nothing selfish about that. This is your chance, this is your opportunity today to explore your life and see what you are doing to take care of you or perhaps ask yourself the question, what am I truly lacking right now that I really need in regards to self-care? Self-care also means creating healthy boundaries. I posted on Facebook not too long ago, some people don't love you, they love what they can get from you. So we have to be careful in that. Self-care also means creating healthy boundaries. Self-care also means telling people no sometimes. Self-care also means not being somebody's doormat. Not allowing someone to manipulate you and abuse you all for their own selfish need or selfish gain. It's very vital to discern this when making connections with people because not everyone values self-care and that's partly because they don't really care or value themselves. Some people don't care about themselves. So if you don't care about yourself, you're not going to take care of yourself. If they don't love themselves, they're not going to love you. If they don't validate themselves, they're not going to validate you. If they don't care about other people, they're not going to care about you. I mentioned earlier that self-care is not just limited to how we treat our bodies, which is physical, but it's connected to other things as well. And I just want to close today's program with just a few thoughts based off of my research that I found very um, appealing that I want to share with you today. First of all, we have this thing called self. First of all, we have this thing called physical care, which simply means are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating right? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough exercise? When was the last time you went and saw a dentist? When was the last time you went and got an annual checkup? When was the last time you got a sexual health screening? Just very basic things that you can do uh, to take care of your physical self-care. Those things are very important. And maybe uh, there were some things that I didn't mention, but those are just a few things that you need to just ask yourself. Am I getting enough sleep? Am I overworking myself? You know, just basic things like that you may want to look into in regards to the physical. The next one is called social self-care. And this is something that I've recently just went through. I'm not going through it now because we've made adjustments. But are you too invested into social media where you're not getting enough face-to-face -face time with those that you love? Sometimes we can allow social media or social to affect not only our lives, but affect our mentality, affect our mental health. And you have to create a balance and say, enough is enough. I don't have to deal with this. I don't have to read this. I don't have to tolerate this. If it means deactivating your account, if it means thinking of other alternatives, you know, where you don't have to participate in certain conversations, do it because your mental health depends on it. C is mental self-care. What am I doing to keep my mind not only clear, but sharp? What am I filling my mind with? And that could, and whatever you fill your mind with, a lot of people don't realize this, it can also affect you psychologically as well. So ultimately you have to ask yourself, what am I doing to keep my mind mentally healthy? What, am I, what thoughts am I allowed to process and navigate through my mind? Because whatever that is, it has to go. If it's negative, if it's not good, it has to go. D, is, um, the next one is uh, spiritual self-care. This is very important, but we must realize that spiritual health, spiritual this is very important, but we must realize that spiritual self-care is not always associated with organized religion. 
Sometimes we think of spiritual as the first thing we go to. But maybe somebody that's watching your, your ideal of spirituality may be meditation. For somebody else, it may be going to a church service every Sunday or praying to God. Your spiritual self-care is important as well. So are you engaging in those spiritual practices, no matter what those may be, that you find helpful? And not only, not only that what you find helpful, but what's working for you. Because what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me. But at least you're engaging in spiritual self-care. You do what you do to keep yourself spiritually in tune and spiritually balanced. And lastly, emotional self-care. We got a lot of people out there, they don't really know how to process their emotions, uh, more or less even expressing those emotions. So, and we all have emotions. They are a part of us and knowing we have emotions, it's also important to know how to process those emotions when we need to. So do you have a healthy way of processing your emotions? These things are important, people. Your self-care is important. Like I said, it's not just about physical. It's psychological. It's mental. It's social. It's emotional. And only you can make that change in your life today? Are you taking care of yourself? Uh, Reevaluate your life today. Look at your life and ask yourself, do, do I love myself as I love my neighbor? Am I taking care of myself as I do my neighbor? What are you doing for you? Thank you so much for watching the show today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, www.youtube.com backslash Henry Harris 100. We want to connect with you. We also have a fan page. Go to Facebook, type in the Brother Henry and You Show. We want to connect with you. I want you to stay connected to me. I appreciate you. We have more and amazing content coming your way. We hope you have enjoyed today's program. We want to connect with you. Visit us at facebook.com slash the Brother Henry and You Show. Or visit us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Henry Harris 100. We're so grateful you tuned in today and hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.